that one. Thank you, Mono. News 5 first to bring you the story of local firefighters coming to the aid of a man in need right here in Northeast Ohio. But this was not your normal firefighter rescue. Instead of saving his life, they stepped in to save his ride and then some. Mike Brookbank has the story. Wearing a coat with his name in neon on the back, like the brave first responders he follows. I will be fire chasing this afternoon. Robert Burrow gets behind the wheel of his brand new Nissan Sentra. I'm still in awe about this. For 30 years, Burrow has been using his camera. Over 20,000 pictures on uh, Facebook. To chronicle firefighting in the city of Cleveland without expecting anything in return. Before Robert Burrow started taking pictures, I had very few uh, pictures that memorialize anything uh, that I've done. When the retired 66 year old stopped showing up at scenes earlier this year, firefighters started calling him. Where you at? And I said, well, my car's broke down and she started a GoFundMe. The original goal raised $5,000 to fix Burroughs 2005 Dodge Neon. But so many people wanted to help get the photographer back on the road, things quickly changed. People were so generous and the donations came so rapidly that we decided to replace the vehicle and it was something much better. Now after a short break from the action, the first time since 1988, Burrow is back in business. They can look at this and, and look back 20 years from now and say, you know, this is what I did when I was on the job. Burrow tells me he used to think the firefighters didn't like him too much. Safe to say that's not the case anymore. This really shows me that uh, they really do appreciate it. Yeah, they certainly do. That was Mike Brookbank reporting. The Chiefs crowd fundraising campaign. Get this, it raised more than $13,000 for Robert's new ride. Metro Toyota on Brook Park Road picked up the difference and that'll help put him returning him though to snapping those action shots in the fire scenes across the city. And as you heard, Robert said he didn't waste any time. He was back out chasing yesterday afternoon. Cool shots. Love saying that.